and the reversal, and smash together those two different infinities to create imaginary mass. Imaginary technique. Hollow. Purple. Warlock can finally use Nova Bomb and have it do good DPS. I just finished a couple DPS tests, and as you saw before, I was able to hit 1 million with pretty much Nova Bomb alone. Looking at Nova Bomb by itself, it does some pretty decent damage, about 642,000. And now we can combine this with a couple of mods. Since Nova Bomb is void, we could combine it with the Facet of Courage, increasing its damage against enemies with Darkness debuffs, and Expanding Abyss. Void sources deal increased damage to weakened targets. Now with a Tractor Cannon debuff, Nova Bomb does about 870,000. And then if we're running Stasis Turret to debuff the enemy, Nova Bomb does about 700,000 damage. And if you combine these two, Nova Bomb does just under a million. Now I did find a better way to utilize these mods, Vortex Grenade and Arcane Needle. And I was able to hit 1 million again, which kind of confused me because Tractor Cannon is a 30% debuff. And I do believe the Vortex Grenade is a 15% debuff. Also, I was using Facet of Dominance so that my Vortex Grenade provided a debuff. I have made a build that I think will provide the best DPS as well as some decent survivability. Phoenix Dive for my class ability. Arcane Needle for the melee, Vortex Grenade, or Storm Grenade if you have another source of weaken. Aspects, Hellion, Feed the Void, Hellion for Ignitions, Feed the Void for Devour. Fragments, we have Dominance, Courage, Purpose, Hope, and Balance. Now unfortunately I did want to run Facet of Protection, but there's only 5 Fragment slots. You could replace one of these. But we do have Devour, so you should be okay. Now we have Dominance to weaken targets, or to jolt them, depending on the grenade that you are using. Now we have Courage, so that our Nova Bomb will do more damage to a target that is, say, unraveled. Which is exactly what Arcane Needle does. Weapons are preference. I do recommend Void Weapons. Artifact Mods. I recommend Radiant Orbs and Expanding Abyss. Radiant Orbs will give you Radiant. Expanding Abyss, Void Sources, will increase damage to weakened targets. Meaning, your super, as well as your weapons. If you have teammates, Prismatic Transfer. If you have no teammates, Shield Crush. Now for the mods. I am running a little melee oriented here. But pretty much Siphon Mod, Resist Mods, and Reaper. You can also run a mod to give you super energy. Because you want to build up those Star Eater orbs as soon as possible. Obviously you do need a bond with Star Eater. But you do not need a bond with Apotheosis. As you can see I am running a Necrotic and Star Eater combo. Hopefully you didn't find this video too long. I do have some more build ideas. And if you want to see those builds, or you enjoyed this build, be sure to like and subscribe. That is pretty much it.